The Uganda Electricity Generation Company Limited Board of Directors led by Engineer Proskovia M. Njuki has inspected the progress of works at the Karuma 600 megawatts hydropower project. The team acknowledges that the project's overall progress stands at 99% and is due for commissioning this year, but its exact date for commissioning has not yet been set. For the support we received from the line ministry, the Ministry of Energy, they've coordinated high-level meetings which involved the Chinese ambassador to Uganda. They involved the company in China at a very high level. So the person we've got, we have no doubt that is the best they would give us and is really proving that. From what we've seen. The chief executive officer, UEGCL, engineer Harrison Motikanga, says that the contractor closed several non conformances that were previously identified by the owner's engineer in the mechanical, electrical, and civil works which had delayed the project's commissioning. We are optimistic that uh, even the remaining few works that uh, they need to complete so that we, the plant can be ready for commissioning. They have promised us, they are discussing, they are engaging, and uh, they are going to come up with the, an implementation plan for commissioning the plant. Engineer Lee Duong says that they are working day and night to see that they deliver their best. We see today we have got very good workmanship. The workmanship already improved. So <coughs> we will we will promise in cooperation with the OE and the UGC teams the work together and to make the agreement cross all the remaining issues the start the generation and get the government can get the profit from the project. The board also inspected the progress of works for community development action program phase one at Dima Primary School in Chiriandongo District, which is currently at 93% overall physical progress. They've completed two blocks of classrooms, they've completed the, a teacher's house, and uh, they've also completed the, the VIP latrines for, for, the, for the pupils. The head teacher of Purongo, Odongo Boniface, says that the situation of infrastructure and furniture at the school is yet to be addressed. Yeah, while well, looking at, uh, well, they are accommodated within using the available structures, but our hearts really sometimes very alarming because our parents have to keep on renovating time and again, and that was also not easy for them. We believe that the new structure really will give us something, hope. Teachers in the schools where UEGCL is supporting applauded the company for coming on board. The discipline in the class was uncontrollable. Because as you are teaching and you are not reaching a child, that child can do anything. So that was how it was. Very difficult for a teacher to control. This grass touch house of mine here, it leaks when it is raining. And also it is not very good, especially when there is a lot of, a lot of wind. And uh, we are also scared because I also have my document there. Sometimes if I'm to take my document to the, to the school, when the, the school is locked, I get challenges. And sometimes I, 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 I keep my, 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 my document there, which is not good. The chairperson of Noya District, Emmanuel Orach, commended the good work by UEGCL in their schools. Lots of thanks go to Uganda Electricity Generation Company uh, for thinking community uh, development uh, through the Community Development Action Plan. And this is absolutely in line with the uh, corporate social responsibility, which we really appreciate. The story has been compiled by Kenneth Tanaba for UBC News.